This culture, a tree is not a thing. A tree is a living being, you know? So like the, the people would refer to their trees in pretty much the same sense you would refer to a human being. Uh, you would say to a tree, she provided me with this and that. You don't re refer to it with the term it. When you ask a farmer about what they witnessed when Israeli bulldozers have destroyed their own trees and everyone will tell you it's like it's like killing my father or it's like killing my son people like uh, refer to the destruction of the olive trees in the same sense as you would refer to the destruction of life because it represents life The State of Israel has been uh, working continuously on destroying and removing and uprooting or stealing like Palestinian olive trees. <laughs> standing before uh, four or five thousand years olive trees you realize that the life in Palestine has started a long 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 time ago olive trees were uh, planted in uh, in Palestine supposedly by the Greeks or the ancient Greeks that dominated over the the region about four or five thousand years ago as you might understand olive trees are not wild trees they don't grow by themselves they need human care in order to continue to survive in order to continue to produce so for at least five thousand years there have been people who cared for the uh, olive trees in the land of, uh, of Palestine. You never plant an olive tree for yourself to eat from. You usually plant it for the future generations. The olive tree represents a form of continuity of survival, of continuity of livelihood, of continuity of any society that has the luck to live in, on, on the land of, of Palestine. Uh, all religions that existed on this land for the past four or five thousand years have given a sacred value for the olive tree itself. The uh, significance of an olive tree as an olive tree branch is a symbol for peace. That's inspired by a dove coming back to Noah's Ark with an olive branch on its peak. And that was the, the sign that the flood disappeared. Uh, it's a symbol for peace, it's a symbol for life, it's a symbol for end of a catastrophe. Besides its religious significance, the olive tree has an economic significance. More than 60% of the herbal land of Palestine is covered with olive trees. Uh, olive trees contribute about 40% of the Palestinian productive economy in terms of olives, in terms of oil, in terms of using olive oil as one of the basics for 
for example, producing soap. Producing soap in Palestine is about like a 900 to 1,000 years old industry. It's not an industry of yesterday, and that's because of olive oil. نحن متواجدون في مصنع الصابون شركة أحمد عبد الشقعة وهو مصنع موجود منذ 160 عاما وله يعني من من أشهر الصابون في مدينة نابلس أو فلسطين أو بالشرق الأوسط ويعمل الآن في المصنع حوالي 15 موظف عندنا الصابون يتكون من ثلاث قطاعات الصابون الأول اللي بيطبخوا الصابون مجموعة عندما يطبخونها هاي يخلطون الزيت مع السودا وتطبخ عندما يتنطج تم نقل الصابون من القدرة إلى المفرش الصابون ويوضع فيه حتى يبرد ثم تقطع مجموعة ثانية تقوم بتقطيع الصابون إلى معي... إلى قطع معينة حسب السوق ثم تجفى في المدة شهر ثم يجي عملية التغليف وعندما تغلف تصدر إلى الأسواق المحلية والخارجية للأردن ومنها إلى بقية الدول العربية In our beginning, we started this cooperative like 2005. Uh, we were in the beginning, we were five women who started this project. It's um, most of us, we lost our job. For example, it's like me, myself, I used to, I study nursing and I work as a nurse for seven years. I used to go to Jerusalem every day and it was perfect in that time. And since they start to put the checkpoints and they make it like, really border border for Palestinian. So we collect ourselves and we start this this project. Well, now we are 15 women. Part of us, we work with the soaps and um, part the other part, they work, work with the embroidery. As you see, it's like we, we try to mix the embroidery with the, um, with the soaps. The oil, what we use, it's, uh, it's not the rest of the oil that people, they don't want to, to eat. It's like um, the good quality, but it's like from the last year, not, not from the, 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 the main season. It's a time that we are helping the, the farmers because really it's hard for them to sell their oil. It's hard for them to pick even the olives. Also, we have a four or five hundred years like uh, industry connected to uh, olive trees and continues to exist until today, which is uh, olive wood crafts. Like when we have pilgrims coming to Palestine, they are they get a chance to buy a piece of Palestine, and that's an olive wood craft. Bethlehem region we have about uh, three to four hundred small family business uh, factory like one or two people working in their home now olive wood we buy it from the farmers who prune the trees in October November and December after the harvest period they cut the branches and there are commercial people who collect this wood and bring it to us and to sell it. After the year 2007, Bethlehem found itself surrounded with a wall. Not easy to go in and out between Bethlehem and Jerusalem. Before the small families who have like one person, he has a small workshop, he work at home. In the end of the week, he go to sell it in Jerusalem. But today he can't carry the bag because it's illegal to enter Jerusalem with a small quantity of goods. So now these families are suffering. They have to sell their goods less than cost just to keep living. Olive trees 
also have inspired many uh, uh, social phenomena that you would see in Palestine. You would go into somebody's house and you'll be stunned by their hospitality. Given the fact that Palestinians live under a merciless form of oppression, so you would think like, how come you are surviving like racist oppression and yet you are inviting people in, you are being kind and hospitable to people? If you think of an olive tree that survives in a hard nature, like Palestine, we have a very hard environment, uh, and yet you have an olive tree that st survives through that hard nature, and you come to it in October and it gives you generously. So that's a form of like the hospitality of the olive tree or the generosity of the olive tree. Also, uh, you find like references to olive trees in much of our novels and much of our poetry in much of our celebrations you always find a reference to that because it's the only living being that we have had on the land of Palestine for two, three, four thousand or five thousand uh, years. Uh, the State of Israel over the past 69 years had a propaganda machine that deceives people into believing that the State of Israel is 4,000 years old or the State of Israel has existed for 4,000 years old, um, making sure that nobody remembers that the State of Israel was established in Palestine in 1948. Uh, one of the things they use to deceive people is using like Palestinian elements like Palestinian embroidery, Palestinian kofiyas, Palestinian food, and Palestinian olive trees to be some kind of like part of the Israeli culture. The only Palestinian that is not part of the Israeli culture is the Palestinian himself.